Hi there guys, my name is John from ActiveJR.com and uh, in this video I'm going to be doing a, a benchmarking test of the Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus series against the Garmin Phoenix 5A. Now the reason I'm doing this video is I've had a number of people ask me what is the hardware difference inside the watch. Now apart from taking it apart and being uh, someone that knows about the different components, uh, the best way I thought we could do this is by doing a benchmarking test with an app that's available on the Connect IQ store. Now uh, there's a link uh, to, uh, to that at the bottom if you want to do your own testing. But, so what I'm going to do is get straight into the video and show you the first um, a benchmarking tests and then I'm going to go on to showing the menu responsiveness uh, com uh, compared to the Phoenix 5X and the Phoenix 5X. Okay so first of all I downloaded the um, benchmarking app and I did the test on the uh, Phoenix 5X. Uh, first of all running the latest uh, software version as of yesterday it's not the latest software version as of today. As you can see the CPU is a 1.5 and it's got a 14.1 pips. Um, and the Connect IQ version is also 2.4.4. Now I ran then uh, the same test on the Phoenix 5X Plus, and you can see there is a noticeable difference between the uh, Phoenix 5X and the Phoenix 5X Plus. The CPU is a 2.0 and the PIPS is 21.7. The uh, Connect IQ version is uh, 0.1 um, up from the Connect IQ on the Phoenix 5X. Now the same test I also did on the uh, Phoenix 5 Plus and in this test you can clearly see that the CPU is exactly the same in the Phoenix 5X Plus and the hardware looks exactly the same. Now if there might be some uh, subtle differences like the battery uh, difference which is obvious but in terms of uh, the CPU and memory and all those things, it all appears to be the same. Now you can see a step difference between the new Plus devices compared to the previous generation 5X. And now what's that information tell us? It tells us that the Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus series has got different hardware inside, which was probably gonna be obvious to lots of people. And there's a step improvement on the Phoenix 5 series. So now what I'm gonna do is just gonna go through to show you some of the differences in the menus and how they uh, operate uh, on the new series compared to the Phoenix 5X. Uh, so starting with the Phoenix 5X, I'm just gonna go into the activities menu and I press them at the same time. And you can see there, there's a lag between the Phoenix 5X and the Phoenix 5X Plus. It may not happen every watch, but it seems to be happening on this one. Uh, now on this video, you can't really appreciate unless you're actually going through the menus, but uh, the menus on the Phoenix 5X Plus do seem smooth. And I think that's possibly down to the CPU. Uh, so overall, you know, a slight improvement there. Now let's go into the widgets and the same behavior also occurs when I press the button. You can see here that there's a slight uh, lag again and uh, scrolling through the menus, there is a obvious uh, slight delay, but it's not too obvious. Uh, so what does this tell us again? I think it tells us that the, obviously the, uh, the Phoenix 5 Plus uh, series is slightly uh, speedier and snappier than the previous generation. That's always gonna happen with new uh, devices. Now, hopefully this has given you uh, the information for those people. I don't think there's loads of people that wanna know this, but there were certainly some people. So it only took me a little bit of time to make this video. It's a bit of a techie video. It shows you how things work and hopefully it's been useful. And if it has, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much and I'll speak to you soon.